Average men are choosing foreign women and these modern women are pissed, bro. Look at look at these videos right here. Guys, let's get our passports, bro. They don't appreciate us here. It's an opportunity for them to go in search of spouses who they feel are going to be more subservient to them and do what they want, basically some sort of indentured servitude. It's easier for these men to go overseas, get one of these um, victims. A lot of these passport bros are exploiting a power imbalance economically. Y'all are taking advantage of these women. If you feel that you need to go to Antarctica to marry a polar bear. But they're still doing the, oh, we're just going to leave and go to another country and find women. Or you're going to die alone. Good luck dying alone with your cats. Get a polar bear. Yeah, it is much easier for these passport bros to go to other countries and exploit younger, more impressionable, less educated or uneducated um, girls living in poverty. You know why? Because we don't care. Look, we don't care. For we do not care. See, see, one thing that I've realized about being on this journey is if you're a man that's deciding to go on his own way, if you're a man that's deciding to go out and find better options for yourself, you really have to have blinders on. You really have to stand 10 toes firm on your decision because what you're going to encounter a lot of the time from both men, surprisingly, and women is a lot of what is called sign language. Shout out to the late Kevin Samuels, rest in peace. He came up with a term called sign language. What is sign language? Sign, la sign language is shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. So whenever you talk about leaving the country, whenever you talk about going your own way, whenever you talk about getting better options for yourself, you're going to enter a lot of what we just discovered in this video of a bunch of shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. But the one thing that I've learned about human nature is a lot of people love to project. A lot of people love to project and talk bad and look down upon people who make certain decisions. However, when the tables have turned and they have the power, they're able to make the decision, it's able to benefit their life, then they make that decision with no hesitation. How convenient for them. See, what a lot of these people don't want is a lot of these people don't want your happiness. They don't want you to be looking like this video right here. Check this. show that because that ruins their narrative that ruins their narrative that there's a bunch of guys going over here who is just pursuing women underage women just for sex come on now none of us are doing that and, and and the fact is if the people who are doing that that's a completely separate genre that was here long before these men decided to saying we're enough is enough and we're traveling they don't want you to have testimonies like this one right here check this one out i've been here for over a year living in thailand and everything's kind of come to fruition in a good way. Um, things are happening, things are moving forward. And I want to be uh, first to tell you, I'm getting married. I'm getting married uh, to, my, to my girlfriend. We've been together over a year now, a little over a year. Uh, she's, she's wonderful in every way. And I just want to give a success story. You know, uh, I did not come here to even find a woman. I came here for a better life and just things just kind of happen and fall into place. Um, I couldn't tell you guys, uh, she's an incredible woman. I'm excited. I'm happy. She's just always in a good mood she sings around the house she cooks she she cleans uh she's respectful and soft and feminine uh we've never had uh you know we've had a few disagreements in the very beginning you know when it comes to setting boundaries but nothing like i've ever dealt with uh with any woman to be to be honest i mean she's never called me out i've never called her out a name uh we've never raised our voices at each other like we, we have a great relationship she's a beautiful woman she's kind and i, I enjoy being with her and with that being said, I can't even believe I'm considering this. Like, I, I had the mentality and the mindset when I came here, I was never going to get married again. But just dealing with the women here is just, it changes your perspective in so many ways. And that's just a beautiful thing. I'm going to link his video down below. You guys go check out that video. But understand, this is exactly what they don't want. They don't want to try to have their cake, eat it too, and fail 
and then turn around and look at the guys that they rejected having great, happy lives. See, they, th they throw all types of hateful comments, all types of insults, all sorts of shame. Oh, these are working girls, yada, yada. If they, Listen. Are there some guys going out there for working girls? Of course, right? And I'm not demonizing those type of guys. But again, let's, what they love to ignore are things like this right here. Yeah, so, so I guess he's been seeing the same working girl for four years. Come on now. These guys are getting married. And the, th the beautiful thing about it is most of these guys have YouTube channels. Most of these guys are documenting their journey of being married, of going overseas, of, of finding online work, of doing these things. This is why as a man, it's our job. It's very important that you are working on becoming the best version of yourself. Yes, we like to hee hee ha ha, may do some reaction videos and stuff like that for entertainment purposes, but you have to focus on the real goal. The focus on the real goal is how can I make money on the internet? Two, how can I become the best version of myself physically? And three, how can I get my money right? So when I go out there, it's a I have the option to return. I, I'm not forced to return. Does that make sense? And the only way that you're going to get there is through if you are trying trial and error through experiences, trying to make sure that you're becoming the best version of yourself, trying to make sure that you're organizing your day, trying to make sure that everything that you are doing, you are staying motivated and dedicated to the ultimate goal that you have. You have to put, like I said before, you have to put the blinders on when you are in this matrix, because again, these people do not want to see you win. And while there's a lot of people that will spit salt at you, spit venom at you, and you can immediately see that they're not on your team, there are other people who use different strategies and tactics that will try to get you to stay. This is why for me personally, when I'm here, I am completely celibate and I'm having a great time so far. I completely celibate. I don't want to go on any dates. I don't want to sleep with any women. I don't want to do any of that. I want to focus on me, myself, and the things that I have got going on. I want to focus on my plan. I want to focus on my goals because when I put all that forth, that time, attention, and energy into these things, it's bound to happen. You understand what I'm saying? So listen, while I make these videos and I talk about all the things that are out here, understand something. This is something that serves as a reminder to say this is what's out here. Because on the journey that we're on right now, it's very easy to get bored or, or, or bored with the mundane task that we have to do. But understand, as a man, we have to do what we have to do because exactly of where we are going. Where we are going is everything that we've set up, we've set our lives up to be. So listen, this is exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Find you a group of guys who are dedicated, who have the same mindset as you. Get together, have meetings, and go after the things that you want. Because these, if it was up to these people, they'll make sure that you never get it a day in your life. Before I let you go, I want to leave you with this reminder. You're not only in this game to try to do what's best for you. That's usually how it starts. But once you're in an environment that appreciates you, that allows you to thrive, your cup runneth over. And the thing that you want to make sure is not only that you you're the best version of yourself, but you want to make sure the people are around you are the best version of yourself. See, that's the thing about men. The more that we get, the more that we want to start taking care of other people because we realize that this is a team effort. This is a team sport. So a man becoming the best version of himself, the next thing he's going to ask himself is how can I make sure my family is the best version of myself? And after that, they're going to ask themselves, how can I make sure my community is the best version of myself? And then after that, they're going to say, how can I make sure the culture is the best version of themselves? You see what I'm saying? This is a nonstop journey journey as men. And as men, these are the things that we focus on if we are in the correct environment. But the environments that we have been in so far have told us that we aren't worth it, that we are useless, that we are nothing but utility to be used by other people. And that's not true. The truth of the matter is when a man loves and, and, and cares deeply, he not only wants to make sure that he's good, he wants to make sure his family's good. He wants to make sure that his community is good. He wants to make sure that his culture is good. And so when you go to these different countries, don't just say, what can these people do for me? Ask yourself, Yourself, am I in the right? Am I in the right environment? Does this environment allow me to thrive? And then ask yourself, how can I make this environment better? How can I invest into this place? That's what the, that's the biggest fear. See, they want to see they want to see us as guys that just go over there, use the women and then leave. Absolutely not. We're going over here to create real lives for ourselves and our families and better lives for our community overall. And nothing's going to stop us from doing that. So I wanted to mention that point before I let you guys go. So stand strong, men. And if you want me to make more videos, more content like this, type in more content. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to subscribe and, and, and make sure you check out the full videos down below. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Peace out.